He is a federally licensed emotional support alligator. He is far from a typical alligator. We're gonna go have fun today, huh? Ooh, you like it, huh? I got your tail. I don't want to imagine life without Wally. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, I'm Joe Henney, come on in. This is our reptile room in the house. We have anything from uh, blue tongue skink to iguanas to leopard geckos to bearded dragons. We have Nile monitor, savannah monitor, ball python, water dragon, and then we have four gators. They're all hatched in captivity and sold as pets, except for Wally. He was a wild alligator. Wally is a four year old. American alligator. He was rescued in Orlando, Florida. We got him three years ago, and he's been my best buddy since. Wally is around five feet long. He's roughly 60 pounds right now. Wally has a, an estimated bite of 3,000 pounds per square inch. They have 80 teeth, and they are razor sharp. He is far from a typical alligator. He loves cuddling. He loves giving kisses. Uh, hugs, it's, it's just incredible. He is a federally licensed emotional support uh, alligator. A lot of people say, well, why didn't you put him out somewhere else and turn him back into the wild? And you can't do that. When an alligator is rescued, they're classified as a nuisance gator. Normally we feed chicken wings to them, uh, but we ran out of chicken wings, so we grabbed some chicken breast. Wally's not gonna eat today, but Scrappy is definitely hungry. Come on. Wally and Scrappy both, they have the full run of our house, 24-7. Yep. <laughs> what are you doing, Stinkpot? What are you doing? Did you go crazy on me? Did you go crazy on me, big boy? <laughs> he walks around, he gets on the couch when he wants, he loves watching TV. Oh, come here, right here, yeah. Yeah. What? Come here. I'll tickle you. I'll tickle you. Yeah. I'll tickle you. I went through a real hard depression and he brought me out of it. And he was just constantly cuddling and holding me. I'd take a nap and wake up and he'd be laying on my head. My doctor wanted to give me antidepressant medicine and I refused to take it. 30 days later, when I went in to see my doctor, she said, what'd you do? You're, you're doing really good. Well, I said, I hung out with Wally. And she said, well, that's just, that's incredible. And so we got a letter from her that uh, stating that he is a emotional support animal. I said, who would ever register an alligator? I, I just thought it was crazy. Uh, it is crazy. Get up here. The volunteers that we have, uh, they're taught how to handle the gators, how to feed the gators. This is Belle. This is one of our uh, volunteers for the, our rescue of reptiles. I have like a really big love for alligators and like all kinds of reptiles. It's always fun coming over here and like hanging out with them. Well, I'm Wally's girlfriend, everyone says. So um, I guess we kind of bond really well. These are his uh, official papers uh, for the emotional support animal. This is his official card. And then, of course, his certificate of registration. People, they just enjoy seeing Wally and they just have a great time. We just go for walks. We'll take him walks in the park. We'll take him walks in the yard. And there's times we get down the river, I'll put his leash on and his harness and we'll go swimming in the river together. We take him to restaurants. He gets invited to quite a few. We take him to Silver Springs Diner, which is up in Mechanicsburg. He's quite a celebrity in there. He has his own special spot. He gets petted, held, and catered to in every way that you can imagine. Yep. If you're right, go to Michelle. Okay, lay down. Lay down. How is he trained? They're, very, they're actually easier to train than a dog. But he is a four-year-old, and he listens like a four-year-old. Isn't he cute? He's very cute. <laughs> The funniest reactions are like when they don't see the alligator, they think it's just like a dog or something, and they're like, oh wait, it's an alligator. 
we've done birthday parties where we've actually set the toddlers actually right on his back and the dog come over and sat beside him and he, he just, he's a lovable, lovable alligator. Do you know where his ears are? I was always interested in reptiles when I was about eight years old. We lived on two big farms and uh, I loved collecting snakes. We would nurture them and stuff till they got back to health and we'd turn them back in the wild. So it's been a total of 19 years I've been actually handling and working with alligators. Straight, straight, straight down through. Atta boy, keep going. Wally's very well known at the mall. I actually met Wally back in November because he wanted to come visit with Santa Claus. When I uh, heard over the radio that there was an alligator in the mall, I was a little confused. I've heard of a lot of different kinds of emotional support animals, but as soon as you hold him, it definitely works. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it is soothing. It feels so good, wow. It's what like they a weighted blanket. They rate him as a weighted blanket, but he's also being alive, feeling him breathe and stuff, yeah. all adds to that whole thing, to the therapy make my day. <laughs> I've never seen an alligator in a mall. I've never even think I've seen an alligator outside of a zoo. I don't think I could ever take care of something that big. Right on your shoulder. Right there. Oh, he's gonna hug you right away. Look at that. When I first saw him, it was a little scary. Once we got the chance to be closer and pet him, it was a lot less intimidating. After holding Wally, I really think he can sense people's emotions. It was kind of incredible. He works. <laughs> he works. <laughs> he does good work. <laughs> we put a smile on your face. Yeah. It's the best thing to happen to me at work all day. Well, there you go. <laughs> Well, when we take Wally places, we don't charge any place, we ask for donations. And I've been feeding the hungry for over 15 years. That's my reward, cheering people up. What he does for other people, we have been offered $40,000 for Wally, and I refused. It was an insult. I don't want to imagine life without Wally. Wally helped me through a lot. He puts laughter and joy in so many hearts. It, it's just incredible.